Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Spooky Tober. Adam's Family came out in 1993, November of 1993, right around Halloween. And it's supposed to be like a Halloween movie, but it's really more of like a dark comedy. But I had to add this to the lineup because it's one of my favorite movies from the 90s. It encompasses everything fun, spooky, whimsical. But let's roll the footage. Oh, Wednesday Adams. How many ways can I count how I love her as a character? It was like me being 13 years old when this movie first came out, like it embodied everything that I wanted to be. She was powerful and she was like putting this little entitled mean girl in her place like no sis we ain't doing that okay and by the way you know y'all stole their land and yada 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 she really put her in the plate and, and this is why i put this particular scene up because i thought it was such a pivotal scene and more importantly it was a memorable scene that really captured the essence of the character and made re respect her even more Alright y'all, so now we're getting into the fun part. Let's kind of talk about the hair. Unlike the last project we did where we tackled like African American hair, which is more like fluffy and curly and coily and just lots of fun to kind of paint. Um, European hair or um, Caucasian hair is a lot more like straight and flat. So you have to be cognizant of kind of your brush strokes and where you're going with things and, and all of that stuff and yada, yada, yada. So I really took my time to make sure that, that I was being intentional and clear and concise and directional with my brush strokes. But at the same time, I still wanted to have fun with like the colors and all of that stuff to make sure that I still had her quintessential dark moody hair but of course black is not always black right it's not always as it seems okay so i added little bits of blue and purple and all of that stuff especially to kind of highlight some stuff in the middle so yeah
Y'all, I don't know what it was, but I struggled quite a bit with the skin tones in her eyes. And I don't know what it was, but for some reason that one eyeball wanted to float off into space. <laughs> and I don't know what was going on. So I spent like the better part of an hour fiddling around, repositioning, readjusting, doing all this nonsense. And this is why I be telling a lot of people like a big part of like doing portraits is kind of, you gotta kind of know anatomy a little bit too. Thank God I kind of know the position of the eyes a little bit because that really helped me with getting through this portrait for real because that eye was going to be the death of me. I just want to take this time to say sorry. I don't know what happened, you guys. Like, it was insane. I, I didn't even get a chance to film. Well, I did film it, okay? I did film the initial stages of putting in, like, the orangey red background. But for some reason, it got lost in translation. It was, it was, I was like, transferring all my files to kind of edit and all the things and yada, yada, yada. Okay, the life of a YouTuber. <laughs> and it's not an excuse, but, you know, it is what it is. I don't know what happened. It, it got lost. I couldn't find the footage. So, yeah, so, so sorry I didn't get to show you guys that part. But I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. All right, y'all. Let's so let's paint in the background. As you can see, I'm continuing with the same theme that I've done throughout all three or four paintings that I've done so far in this series. And I'm loving these like pop art back. I like I'm loving the pop art lines, the pop art background, the graphic-y kind of nature of everything with the dark outlines. I never thought I would like like you know i've always thought of myself as oh you gotta do it right you gotta do the portrait right everything needs to be done properly you know you gotta draw it by hand you know you can't have no dark outlines because it's gonna be looking all cartoony and weird so i it really took me some time to kind of break out of that and this series on this season in this season <laughs> I decided I was going to try to break out of my shell and, you know, kind of balk at my own realism and own realistic traditions and try to do something more fun. And yeah, I hope you guys are liking it.
So down in the comments below, I want you guys to tell me what is your favorite horror movie. That's question of the day. And what do you think we're going to be painting and talking about during next week's episode? Um, yeah, I love you guys so, so much. And I hope you have a spooky, spooky, spooky rest of your week. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.